First of all, congratulations, this show is as so many layers, I don't know where to start, but I want to start from something I read on the production notes, because actually I believe these two characters were actually created just already thinking of you as the two main characters. So I want to ask you how much this can be challenging for an actor and an actress, and how much did you enjoy cooperating in creating these two brilliant characters, I have to say. Um, it was it was wonderful. I mean, it's challenging because if 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 if, if they are Paul Rutman, who's a brilliant writer, if he has placed us already in the script, there's kind of nowhere to hide. You know, usually you can read a script and you go, oh, what well, they were thinking of that's just a general character there, and I can do my thing there. But with mm. this, it was us from the start. So it, it makes you try and find new ways of doing what you normally do um, because you are compelled to shoulder completely that character. But that was very exciting. It's probably the most exposing character I've ever played mm -hmm. just because it was, um, she's a mother, I'm a mother, she's working, I'm working. She, she, she feels like she's spending her marriage, I'm married. And I feel like um, you, you can't help but when you're developing something from the very beginning like that, you can't help but open up your heart in that way to it. Um, but as Peter says, you you find these other strands of them that are not close to you, but they also become, you become very dedicated to them because you feel very protective over them yeah. as, as a character and, and their trajectory and what means something to them. So it was thrill, it was kind of equal parts thrilling and also like, oh gosh, like what have we done? But, <laughs> but I ho hopefully it came, it made them more complex, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And about your, you know, dichotomy between your two characters, how much do you think is a war maybe between two different people and how much is fault of the society because the society issues are, are really well written in the show? I mean, I, I, would, I won't speak for Peter, but I think we, as a team, wanted to feel like we were depicting something that had lots of basis in research and truth and in discussion of how people become very polarized with um, with justice system, with truth, with what we think is the truth, which what, what is being portrayed as the truth. Um, but we also had to be super sensitive because these are real themes that happen to real people. Um, I wanted to feel like I was playing somebody that was relatable as a real person mm -hmm. that happens to work within one of these institutions and how a person might cope with that, as opposed to a shiny police officer that at the end of the day, she just gets to shut the door and it doesn't follow her home um, because I don't think that's the truth. Um, so I, I think we tried to achieve that. Yeah. And I think we tried to make a show that that would would be would if people have an appetite for you know crime thrillers which they clearly do we do supply that element but we also explore the emotional cost mm -hmm. to the characters it's not mm -hmm. a, a show where at the end of each episode uh, they are exactly the same as when they started you know that what goes on in their lives has an effect on them within uh, and i think it's important that we we try to characterize these uh we try to show that these are real people that, there, that, that there's an emotional depth yeah. and a cost to what goes on.